We will now be discussing how evolution is a stage by stage process. It is not an overnight process. It is not a sudden process. Evolution is a stage by stage process. So again, let us have a look at the next topic that is evolution by stages. Right. Evolution takes place by stages. What this basically means is that evolution does not take place suddenly. Evolution is accompanied stage by stage. Evolution takes time, takes, you know, delicate care and it takes time. It happens in stages. So that's what we're going to study here. Evolution by stages. Let's take some examples. For example, planaria. Now we know all planaria is a microscopic small organism which reproduces through the process of regeneration and we've done this in the last chapter so planaria is an organism right a microscopic uh, organism worm like then we have a more complex organism like a fish then we can take an octopus right then we can take some other land animal a terrestrial animal for example a cat so let us take these organisms right if you look at planaria right planaria if we try to draw the diagram of planaria which is somewhat like this. Okay, we try to draw a plan area, and if we try to see its eyes, you will see that its eyes. Let's look at the eyes. So you can see that the eyes, the eyes are just dot-like structures. Dot-like structures, and these eyes so-called eyes which are primitive they are just dot like primitive structures which are called spots so they are just basic primitive structures spots which can just detect light right so its eyes are primitive organs they are very 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 primitive organs right you can note that there they are primitive organs and they, unlike other organisms or eyes, are not very developed. They are not really evolved. So you can see here that planaria has primitive eyes, primitive light detecting structures, you can say. Primitive light detect detecting structures. And fish and octopus and all these other organisms well they have very well developed eyes we all know that so they have well developed eyes right and they have evolved eyes right but on the other hand you can say planaria has very primitive eyes they have not evolved so this is an example of evolution by stages in planaria you can see they're just dot like structures called spots but if you go over organisms which are higher you can see that they have well developed eyes well evolved eyes and these eyes have developed according to need they have not developed overnight early organisms primitive organisms just had these dot like structures to detect light but as the need grew as the need to see became necessary etc etc as we went on and on we could see that you know eye detection went well you know the eyes began evolving to see much more to have a wild, wider field of view and you can see these eyes can just see straight and detect light they can't even see properly but now if you look at human eyes they are so well developed and it has happened through stages through generations and generations and today we have almost a 180 degree angle field of view right through our eyes so this is an example of evolution by stages evolution of eyes the next example which are going to take is that of birds and reptiles so if you look at birds right birds birds have feathers they possess feathers right but what was the main function of these feathers? How did, what was the main function? Main function was, sorry, main function was to keep them warm. Right? The main function was to keep them warm or to keep insulation. That was the main function of feathers. Right? That was the main function, initial function. But, as they began to develop, 
as they began to develop, they developed a secondary function. Right? As they developed, as they evolved, they began to develop a secondary function that is flight. Right? So that was developed as a secondary function. So you can see that birds evolved and their feathers also evolved. Their main function was insulation, but later as evolution took place, they modified themselves to even use their feathers for flight. Right? Now, let us take dinosaurs. Let's take dinosaurs. Now, if you look at dinosaurs, you can see that some dinosaurs had some dinosaurs possessed feathers. And wings for flight. Right? So you can say that they too have wings to fly and they too have feathers. Some of them too have feathers, right? Ants, a very prominent example of this is Archaeopteryx. It's a very prominent example. It's a fossil. And it is a kind of bird and dinosaur mixture, right? It has the <coughs> Excuse me. It had the upper head of a dinosaur, but its lower body was that of a bird. Right? So again, it is common. And you can see that because of this, feathers and wings and many other, like even the Archaeopteryx fossil, we could determine a relation between them. So we could say that they are related. Right? Now, since they are related, we could say that dinosaurs and birds are related and dinosaur uh, birds came from dinosaurs but but since dinosaurs were also reptiles dinosaurs were reptiles right so since dinosaurs were reptiles it was concluded that birds have evolved from reptiles right so it was concluded that birds evolved from reptiles since they do evolve from dinosaurs and dinosaurs were reptiles themselves. So birds evolved from reptiles, right? So I hope that's clear. And this is another example of evolution by stages. Stages. Here they've explained the feathers and here too evolution by stages. First it was insulation, first they developed feathers, then for insulation, then for flight. And then it was seen that since they both have feathers, we could say that reptiles have uh, birds have evolved from reptiles because reptiles initially did not have feathers. They developed feathers and then they developed into dinosaurs. Dinosaurs then further developed wings and all and they developed other forms of body design. They fun finally developed into a new different, new uh, group of organisms which we call birds and then we could see that how they evolved. And this is another example of evolution by stages. Birds to reptiles. Reptiles relation. Really. Right? That's another important aspect of evolution by stages. Right? So I hope this is clear. Evolution by stages. Another example is there of wild cabbage, which I will make in another video since it's a bit long. It takes time. So I hope you're clear with these two examples. That is the evolution of eyes and the relation between birds and reptiles. Thank you very much. Goodbye and do look forward for the next video.